So why is this data visualization one of the worst? They look okay, right? Actually, it has a serious issue. And it's that they didn't use log scale. So if you look closely, it says female to male distance ratio. So the y axis displays a ratio. So why is that a problem? So let me explain. So what is a ratio? A ratio is essentially a fraction. So you have a number divided by another number, and that's the ratio between these two numbers. If you have a classroom with 10 girls and 5 boys, the female to male ratio will be 10 to 5 or 2 to 1, or just 2, 10 divided by 5, right? If another classroom has 5 girls and 10 boys, then the ratio will be 1 to 2 or 0.5. How about a classroom with 10 girls and 1 boy? The ratio now becomes 10, 1 girls and 10 boys, 0.1, easy. Okay, then let me put these ratio values on a linear scale. So what do you see? Does it look right? Well, not really, because here we have a clear symmetry. 10 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 1, and 1 to 10. But do we see this symmetry in the plot? Not at all. The problem is that the ratio can increase indefinitely when the numerator is larger than the denominator, while it can only vary between 0 and 1 on the other way around. So if you just plot the ratio in a linear scale, it exaggerates larger than one ratio way, way more. So how to solve this problem? You can use log scale. You see, if you take a logarithm of a fraction a over b, it becomes log a minus log b. Now division is converted into a subtraction. And let's check our example. So log of the ratio 10 to 5 is log 2. The log of the ratio 5 to 10 is minus log 2. They're at the same distance from the origin, which is log 1. How about the ratio of 10 to 1? The log of 10 is log 10. The log of 1 over 10 is minus log 10. Again, perfect symmetry. And this is why you should use log scale when you plot ratios.